Is Joe Biden a figurehead president? Are others actually running this administration? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The weird incident of a disappearing Secretary of Defense begs the question, is Joe Biden now president in name only, who gives speeches and then is rushed off the stage before he embarrasses himself? It appears that way. The strange behavior of soon-to-be-gone Defense Chief Lloyd Austin underscores a disturbing reality of the Biden administration. The president and his cabinet secretaries are figureheads. The actual decisions are made by a few hardcore leftists aided by bureaucracies that believe in modern socialism. Marxists once thought socialism required the government to own key businesses. Modern socialists have recognized you could control the economy through extensive regulation. The auto industry is a prime example. It is forced to lose billions of dollars manufacturing electronic vehicles that few want to buy. It is telling that our top military official, the Secretary of Defense, could effectively go AWOL and the President and others didn't notice it until told about it days later. It is equally telling that for almost two weeks, Biden never reached out to Lloyd Austin. This at a time of two big wars, an increasingly aggressive China, almost daily attacks on U.S. overseas military facilities and personnel, and the brazen assaults on shipping in critical international waters. At home, Washington regulators relentlessly spew out regulations. Almost every device that makes life easier is under assault. Experts estimate that the cost of these regulations on the economy now total an incomprehensible $3 trillion. Biden passively goes along with most of what the far left demands. Hence, our de facto open borders policy, which has led in millions of illegal immigrants, a gargantuanly costly green energy policy, the likes of which have ruined the once vibrant German economy and will, if not reversed here, lead to feeble U.S. economic growth for generations, politically weaponizing as never before the Justice Department, the IRS, and other agencies, boldly ignoring or making end runs around adverse court decisions as evidenced by unlawfully wiping out student debts, refusing to vigorously revitalize a troubled military even as the world grows ominously more dangerous, pursuing a foreign policy of appeasement on a scale not seen since the 1930s, which led to the Second World War. All this is why the hardcore left of the Democratic Party doesn't much worry about the increasingly evident mental and physical decline of our president. He's a front man. They call the shots. The one time President Biden unmistakably made the decisions was the catastrophic Afghan withdrawal. What we have is a deep state where unaccountable bureaucracies, not elected or appointed officials, make decisions. They know how to thwart or undermine policies they don't like. They get away with this because they can't be fired. A new commander-in-chief will take charge a year from now. A key initiative must be launching a series of lawsuits and other actions that will once again allow presidents and their appointed officials to hire and fire most federal employees. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh,